Hello and welcome to part 5 of basic uh, game maker game tank game uh, capture the flag style so what we're going to do is we are going to create our enemy so it's a pretty straightforward the first part we've done it before we're going to create a new sprite we are going to call it uh, obj uh, sorry spr underscore enemy and we are going to edit the sprite file new 32 by 32 go into it and we're going to uh, create a sprite now uh, what I've done is I've actually gone onto a royalty free website and found a free sprite resized it in Photoshop 32 by 32 and I'm going to actually import it into here so to do that what I'm going to do is file open and it will import the so we can see here that my sprite is in. I can click save, save, and done. Um, so I've got my sprite. I need to create my object, which is, remember, the skeleton of your body and you're attaching the skin, which will be the sprite. So let's click that. We're going to call this obj underscore enemy. And it is going to have the SPR enemy icon or skin sprite on it. We're now going to program our sprite to do some different things. The first thing we're going to want it to do is to be able to start moving. So we're going to add an event. I'm going to add a create event. So the first uh, thing, with, the first action we're going to use is the uh, move fixed action from the moves tab, and we're going to have it direction two. We're then going to randomize the start position where it starts, and that's just using the jump to random position, and we'll have that. At 32, 32. So every time it's created, it will appear in a different location. And when we when it creates and appears on the screen, we're going to want it to have um, a special effect. So we can go into the draw tab, bring the create effect across, and we'll use um, we'll use a smoke up, and we'll select a nice color for that. Basic green. Okay. Click OK. So that's that section complete. We now want to set up a collision with obstacles. So we're going to add a collision event. And it's when it collides with the walls. So OBJ obstacle. And what we want it to do is move uh, in a Sort of a fixed direction, so we're going to move, move fixed, um, and we'll have it again move around in every direction at a speed of two. But we want it to move randomly, and this is slightly more tricky. So, what we're going to do is we are going to add a test chance action, which is located under the control tab, drag that in. And we're going to have it with 60 sides. And we need a start and end block. And we need the chance within that start and end block. Okay. Okay, and what, what we want to do with the, so with the start and end block is uh, within the start and end block, we need to have a, uh, a move fixed. And I'll explain how this works. So this is essentially, uh, think of this as like a virtual dice with sort of 60 sides. And every time a number one is rolled, this will happen. So we're going to, whenever a one's rolled, start blocks and we'll do this. Start moving in the direction um, at a speed of two. Okay, And that's essentially it. Okay, so every time it rolls one, it randomly changes the direction the enemy is moving. It just, it's just a bit, a nice bit of chance and 
sort of uh, gives the game a bit more depth, really. Speed of two, yep, yep, yep. Good, so that's all done. We can click OK. Um, just remember that in this part, you want to have the move and the direction. Jump to a random position and create the smoke effect. When it hits the obstacle, you want it to start moving in a random direction. Um, and then every now and again, when it rolls a one, move and change direction. Okay, so that's the code for that. Show you that again in case you're following along. Okay, so click OK on that. We now want to add some enemies into the level. Okay, so we're going to open our level. And we want to make sure that uh, under objects, the enemy is selected, so OBJ enemy, and we want to place them in the room at sort of random positions. So remembering um, that the left mouse will place enemies, and depending on how hard you want it, depends on how many enemies you want to put in this room. So that's fine. Click the tick and let's run our game and see how it's going. So there we go, as you can see when they hit an obstacle they will change direction. And every now and again they'll just change direction randomly. So fantastic. So let's uh, move on to tutorial 6.